Yo, yo, what's good? Bardia here. So I just want to make this quick video. I'm actually on a drive on, it's like almost 10 p.m. I never stay out. I never stay out this late. Is that a cop? No, it's not a cop. And I'm not driving. I would never uh, ever do this. I would never put any people's lives on in danger. Uh, unless you're my client, of course. So, okay, let's get, let's get to it. Why am I making this video? So, there's a property, 26 Redwood Tree Lane. Right now it's off market as, as I'm speaking. I've shown this property to three clients, four clients. I've given them two offers. So they're gonna come on the market asking 1.1. It's a, it, it needs work, it needs new kitchen, new flooring, new baths, two new full bathrooms and a full on new kitchen. Uh, it, it's gonna need a lot of repair, tens of thousands of dollars in termite damage. They're gonna come on the market asking 1.1. There's a comp for 1.2, but it, it was in a lot better shape. Uh, and that was a kind of a different, uh, I mean, same floor plan almost. And let's see how it's gonna play out, okay? Because this home, 26 Redwood, is gonna come on the market in a week asking 1.1. I have given them the first, let me tell you the first offer. I am driving in the center lane, damn it. So the first offer was 1,025,000 all cash, um, only inspection contingency. They said no, sounds good, 75,000 less than asking, no worries. Today I gave them another offer, 1,050,000. 10 day close, the last one was 21 day close. This was 10 day close, no god damn inspection, no, it's a done deal. You're gonna have a million dollars and 50,000 in your bank account in 10 days, no questions asked. Pros, you don't need to go on market, there's no negotiation. There can be an offer for 1.1, they go into escrow, termite damage, $12,000, that they uh, got a quote needs to get a needs to get done. So you're already at million eighty eight. There's gonna be a, there's gonna be a lot more crib stuff coming up once you do the inspection. They're gonna negotiate. What if it falls out of escrow? All these things can hurt the property. So it's either gonna sell at one point one, or it's gonna go for more than one point one, or they can't even get to one point one, and they'll be coming back to us which I will, I will be, or my clients will be telling them, uh, yeah, million, 20 now, for example. But I'm making this video, so if you're a seller in this situation, you have a house uh, and that the, let's say you're the kids and the grandmother passed. You have this house, you own this property, you're in a trust, you're the trustee, whatever the heck it might be. You wanna come on the market asking 1.1. You think there's gonna be a lot of interest. There may be, there may not be. But the house needs a lot of work. You've gotten two offers from investors, all cash. One 75,000 less than asking, one 50,000 less than asking. 10 day closing, no contingencies whatsoever. So should you take the million 50 or should you go on the market? We'll see. Let me know what you would do because once the home sells, I'll see whatever the outcome is. We'll see if, if you think they should take this now, which I would try to get them to like a million seventy five and just do it. If I was the sellers, I would counter them that and just close it because who, who wants to deal with all the counters and you know, negotiations or whatnot. So, if it was you, if you were the owner, would you take my client's offer at 1,050,000 or not? Let's see, I'll make a follow-up video once this property sells and see if they made the right choice or if they didn't make the right choice. Until then, adios amigos! Oh.